Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another what's in your energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very, very important to remember this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what's leave what's not i was about to say leave what's not leave what doesn't if this is not your story my lovelies it is simply simply not your story please 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 do not force it as i get very very deep and specific here on this channel um so if it's not resonating leave the rest for who it was meant to reach i don't know why i'm getting like nervous right now i feel like there's somebody watching me Ooh, weird I feel like there's somebody watching me right now that, like, it's making my soul nervous for some reason. I just heard Danny. <gasps> what? I've been watching a lot of Danny McBride. <laughs> if you're watching... No, I'm just kidding. Um, Virgos, I got my stand up here. Uh, Halloween has passed. I'm feeling great, but not well. I'm still having trouble sitting down. Um, so my normal setup will have to wait, but I got my stand, so I'm hopefully going to get you some better quality messages here. <clears throat> Ew, I just saw something very weird. Today, it is after midnight. I think it's like 12.30 a.m. my time, my loves. It is after midnight, which means it is 11-1-2024, where I'm at. It is the Scorpio new moon in Scorpio season. Um, I don't know if y'all saw my Instagram story, my loves, but we are, remember how yesterday I was talking about, we're in a portal, we're in a portal, we're in a portal, like there's a portal. We are most definitely in a portal. All right, this is a timeline jump. This is a switch. Ooh, weird. I just saw myself in the mirror. <laughs> oh, damn, definitely we're, yeah, we're definitely going into a portal. Um, mirrors are portals, my loves. Um really quick look what my goddaughter gave me um it's a harry potter uh snitch so i'm gonna use it as a little light <laughs> uh let's get started virgos this is your energy this is your surrounding this is the mutual most likely outcome or what's to come let's see this is gonna be your new moon message and i feel like it's gonna be a good one this is super hot right here this judgment <gasps> Ooh, virgos <laughs> You have the Queen of Wands in reverse, Leo energy, Judgment, Libra energy. Two of, I almost said two of bastards. I don't know why I almost said that. Two of Wands in reverse and the Four of Swords. I think this is like a love reading, my loves. I feel strong someone in your, I feel like this is a love reading. All right, I feel like this is somebody in your energy. This is a love reading. As I was meditating, I kept hearing that song. Thou and strum in my pain with this fingers. In my life with this words. That one, la, 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 la. Ah, I don't know why, but that song hits me differently. I don't know if it's the notes. I don't know if it's the words. I don't know if it's like the sorrow I can hear in that singer's voice. I'm seeing Gru from Despicable Me, but I feel like somebody's, I feel like somebody's watching me right now. I feel like somebody's angrily watching me or something. I don't know if it's the pain in that singer's voice or behind that song. I don't even know what that song is about, to be honest. But I was singing that entire thing meditating. But I feel like this is definitely a love reading because I'm feeling like a very strong, like... A shadow wants to burst out of this person. Like, there's something... A shadow work, like, some sort of shadow work is trying to bust out of someone in your energy. I'm getting strong too, like this person doesn't feel loved or wanted anywhere they are. Ooh, freaking chills. This person doesn't feel loved or wanted. Sorry, Lowe's, I almost dropped my stand. This person doesn't feel loved or wanted anywhere they are. Um, and they're mad that 
there's something that they're upset with. The Queen of Wands and the Judgment. This person is in deep sorrow. This person is going through deep sorrow. And as I was meditating, my loves, I was getting strong, like, you're, like, there's, like, a strong yearning for true, unconditional love. I don't know if it's you or this person that I'm honing in on for this energy, but I feel like there's, like, a desire for closeness, whether it be, like, in love or just in general like there's something about this next leap that's going to give you that comforting something that's going to give you i just heard an old school battle an old school battle because i just saw the the yankees and the dodgers this is so crazy i'm seeing like the yankees and the dodgers which we already know the world series is over but there's something about an old school type of love here an old romantic love that your soul is yearning for and this person is like in sorrow because they can't have that with you okay because this queen of wands is here the, again we're gonna have that light my loves i'm sorry um the queen of wands my loves is leo energy it could be fire energy uh leo i almost said aries Leo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Those are fire. Something about... Yes, this person is... I'm seeing a bunch of like m petals fall off of a marigold. Today and tomorrow, my loves, is Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Typically, you put marigold petals along the side so they can find their way to the altar or to their offerings things like that be sure to put up pictures of your loved ones give them an offering could be something small could be something big um they miss you there's nothing they miss you damn i want to cry so bad Whoever or whatever this is, my loves, it could be a passed away loved one. Someone's coming through because I have the chills everywhere. And I like instantly want to cry. Like there's no other words other than they miss you. They miss you like so much. And I want to say they're watching you through the window. But again, I, I, I don't think, I don't think it's like physical. You know what I mean? I think there is like a spirit watching you through a window. Ooh, is there somebody who has a past loved one in a, a car accident, maybe a black vehicle? Ooh, damn, I got the chills. There's something about that. Definitely something about that. I want to cry so bad. There's something about like a simpler time and like an old school love or old school battle. There's, I just keep seeing like, I just, I just keep seeing like the Yankees and the Dodgers. The Queen of Wands talks about not having passion, not feeling anything for someone anymore. And Virgos, although you may have gotten over this or gotten over this person, they're barely starting to realize that you have. Somebody needs to put out a picture of a passed away loved one. I'm getting strong like somebody's trying to come visit, but they have no offering. They have no, no picture up. You know what I mean? Like they're... I heard Emily... There's a spirit that wants to come say hi because they miss you so much. And I want to cry so bad. I'm seeing like a woman with light, light hair. Or a woman with a very light, beautiful soul. Like a spirit. 
I'm kind of seeing someone that like resembles like Drew Barrymore a little bit. I'm hearing Kelsey, maybe. Something about a ballerina, something. I don't know. Um, I just heard typical patterns. Typical patterns. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, someone is realizing, my loves, that you picked up your feelings and walked away. Okay? Um... with a judgment here. Somebody's going to go to sleep at peace after this for some reason, I feel. Someone's going to go to sleep with peace. Like, I'm seeing someone falling asleep with a smile on their face. The judgment is here, Libra energy. It's like the final curtain call, my loves. Again, this Scorpio new moon talks about new beginnings. Manifest what you want to put into existence. What you want to deal with moving forward. Burn the old ones. Burn the releases. Write down what, whatever way you manifest. Do that, my loves. The judgment is here and it's the final curtain call. It's like, take a bow. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing go on and take a bow. Now I'm here. Is, isn't that a Rihanna song with that one? Don't say that you're sorry when you're not. I don't know. It, it, it's whatever this is. This person is coming to terms that there's nothing they can do. Judgment has been called. Like, it doesn't matter how they try to serenade you. It doesn't matter how they try to give you gifts. There's something that has been... Oh, damn. I just wanted to say slit. There's something that's been slit here. Cut. Remember, again, that final chord... There's something about being very transparent. It is very transparent what you want or what you are doing here, Virgo. This person, even if it's very transparent, this person like refused to believe it or see it. And they're finally seeing it. Again, I'm getting strong. This is a passed away. There, there's a, this is, there's two stories here. Okay, there's two stories. This is about uh, someone who misses you quite literally physically, okay? someone that loves you or loved you but i'm also getting strong this is a passed away loved one or lover judgment can also mean a higher power a calling someone who's trying to come visit someone who wants to say hi with the two of wands here my loves and the four of swords Someone is a musician or something. Someone can sing. Someone can play. Someone can do something. Because I keep hearing that part. Strumming my pain with this fingers. Singing my life with his words. Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly. Someone is in a lot of pain, a lot of agony, a lot of sorrow. I don't know why that song hits me differently. There's a few, there's a handful of songs that hit me a certain way that I could be in a great mood, but there's something about certain songs that hit me, and that's one of them. The Two of Wands talks about not being confused, not being stuck, not being stagnant. It talks about making a decision and rolling with it no more looking back no more confusion you have chosen the destiny that you choose to take my loves and this is it this is that leap this is that new moon in scorpio the leap is here with the four of swords 
This person knows that you're leaping without them. And they're slowly, it, it feels like killing me softly. Like they're just in agony. Like I want to say something, but I don't think it's appropriate. Like just waiting to no longer be here. You know what I mean? But I feel strongly like. They're mad that you're not in pain like they are. They're upset that you're not agonizing over this the way that they are I don't know how they know you're not but they know they know you're thriving right now or they know well obviously they know you're thriving because they know you're going to jump they know you're going to leap without them they know you're not interested in them again that looky loo that weird energy they know what you're up to what you're doing who you're seeing they at least know that you're happy or at least know that you don't have feelings for them. Something like that. But again, my loves, I feel strong like there. I feel strong like a loved one, a passed away spirit wants to visit. And they're coming on November 2nd. Okay. Dia de los Muertos, the day of the dead, is November 1st and November 2nd. There's a drink. They want a drink. I'm seeing like a cup. Like l offer them a cup of water. Put a picture out with a cup of water. Ooh, my loves. And when I was talking about manifestation, I was about to say, write down your manifestations, put it under a glass of water, and drink it. There's one last spirit that wants to say hello. I have the chills everywhere. I went live the other night talking to y'all. We didn't do a reading, we were just talking. And I told y'all I wanted to do mediumship lives and I wonder if this is the first one coming through. I do mediumship reads, but I wanted to do one live and I, I was talking to y'all about how I would try to do that. And I wonder if this is someone coming in. There is definitely a feminine energy. Remember, males can, int can have feminine energy. There's a very like feminine spirit and I'm not getting dainty I want to say the word dainty but um, I'm getting like very elegant even if it's a masculine that passed there's a very elegant almost feminine spirit that wants to come visit they miss you so much but there is someone here in the physical I miss you so much Someone also passed in a very slow way. I'm seeing somebody like in the hospital. Whoever this spirit was, it could have been like days, days, days. You know what I mean? I'm seeing that too. Because I'm seeing like breathing machines and stuff. For some of you, whoever that resonates with, remember this will not resonate. I'm sorry, loves. This is someone coming through. That, will, that won't resonate with everybody. But um, yeah, somebody wants to come say hello. Over here in your energy, my loves. King of Swords. Ooh, I just heard Beetlejuice. I just heard Beetlejuice. King, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. For those of you that missed my last reading when I was talking about it, um, I think it was on the live. I went live and I was just talking and I didn't make it public. But um, after we got off, I, I put it private. But Beetlejuice is the warden of the mental hospital or the what is that it called the mental asylum if you go deep into beetlejuice beetlejuice is the warden of the mental asylum um in the underworld or spirit realm whatever you want to call it someone is going like crazy quite literally like remember we were talking about that the other day mad someone is going mad over you that it's quite literally driving them crazy
the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. I think you're moving on to this new chapter so much wiser, so much smarter. And it's like you have a story, my loves. You have a story to tell. Like you've lived, you know what I mean? Like you've lived life already. Not necessarily the life that you probably would love or hoped, but you have battle scars, you know what I mean? You you have a story behind these scars. And I think that you're able to turn them here. And doesn't this look like a bunch of hearts? You're able to turn your story into life lessons and, and, and transform those pains into peace and love. Again, I feel like y'all have been through a lot of things. Because look, here's an empty bottle. There's a broken mirror. Upside down guitar. Upside down crown. Missing like look at the grounding here it's just a stick no grounding right the upbringing like jokers swords swords in the ground faint music like i really feel like all of y'all have been through a story some of y'all need to write some of y'all need to write a book my loves you know how i was talking about the other day cancers are here to Cancers are here to learn about family. Virgos are here to transform the world with their words, with their music, with something to do with communication, right? The way people comprehend things, um, the way people communicate things. That's what Virgos are here for. And I feel strongly some of you do play instruments, you do write, you do speak, you do do something, and there's something about your story that the world needs to hear. I feel that so strongly. This next chapter is going to be a, a feeling of, um, let me show you how strong I've been and how strong you can be. This Knight of Pentacles is here. The Knight of Pentacles feels lost. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who's slow, lost, no direction, no assistance, no helping hands. Possibly lost a lot of time too. Robbed of time is what I'm hearing. Robbed of time is what I'm hearing. And I don't know why I want to freaking cry. Who's crying right now? Because you're making me cry. I just heard robbed of my bloody heart. Robbed of my bloody heart. I feel strongly like there has been a lot of time that you've had to there's been a lot of time where you felt lost. Where you felt like you didn't have enough time. Times where maybe you did want to cry and didn't even have the time to do that. You just had to keep it pushing. Because look, this fish here is wanting to cry and it can't. Like, it's like almost about to, but it can't. This person looks like it, but they have to keep on moving. I'm hearing that song again. Strumming my pain with his fingers. Singing my life with his words. Somebody needs to write. Somebody needs to write about their life, talk about their life, communicate somewhere. There's some sort of abundance or like emotional freedom in doing this in this next chapter, my loves. Because look, although you may have been robbed of time, felt lost. You stayed strong and kept working. This Eight of Pentacles talks about mastering your craft. This talks about keep it pushing. This talks about 
working overtime, working hard. I'm getting strong, like a lot of admiration from others around you. Like they look at you and are like, <laughs> like, dang Virgo, like, when do you sleep? When do you sleep? You're about to get off a roller coaster ride. Some of you have been through too many ups and downs and loop de loops here. And I'm getting strong. You're about to unbuckle and put your feet on solid ground. There's going to be a change in scenery. There's going to be a change in either what you see around you or what you're looking for around you or what you notice around you because you don't notice how many people you probably inspire or admire you for what you've been through, how you've grown, and how you've worked through things, Virgo. You leave a little bit of inspiration everywhere you go and you don't even see or know it this is why your story needs to be told imagine if they knew the whole story that's all i keep hearing imagine if they knew the whole story i'm hearing podcast even someone might even be thinking about starting a podcast oh my goodness I just heard you're outgrowing your knees for some reason. You're outgrowing your knees. I don't know what that means. But the Seven of Cups here, I feel like you have don't take this wrong but I feel like you have died many times Virgo you've had many spiritual deaths in your lifetime now remember a spiritual death that is so crazy my loves because I've had a vision before where I'm hearing a voice and they're saying you will die three times in this lifetime that is so crazy and they said one's a physical and two are spiritual I think that you all or some, some of you, most of you, a good chunk of you, have died a spiritual death many times in this lifetime. The Seven of Cups is talking about um, options, variety, different times. It talks about uh, possibly sometimes too many. It talks about dreams. I definitely feel there have been plenty of times that the universe, God, your angels, whoever you pray to or believe in a higher power have brought you to your lowest, have brought you to your knees so you can shed and have that spiritual death in order to transform. And all these times that this has happened, you've always gotten up and made it work. In the mutual energy, my loves, you have the four of pentacles the six of swords and the two of cups <laughs> okay so this person that misses you so much they know this they may have seen this for some of you this is mom holy crap for some of you this is mom this could be your mother maybe a mother feels like they they've messed up or missed out or just had to watch you be strong I don't think your family if this is a mother even knows how much you've truly been through in the mutual the four of pentacles talks about holding on holding something close could be holding on for too long 
Virgo, perhaps you were holding on to something or a connection for far too long. And when you finally realized it was time to let go, this person just can't let go. You know what I mean? There's someone still holding on to you. There's someone still holding on to hope that this could come back around, maybe work out. And for some reason, I'm hearing holding on to your dignity. I think that you're holding on to your dignity here, Virgo. The Six of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. The Six of Swords talks about moving on after a very, very big rainfall. A very big storm has hit. This talks about moving into calmer waters. And the Two of Cups in reverse, my loves, is a divorce. It is a breakup. It is a separation. It is a detachment. It is removal of a partner of a connection i just heard disintegrated but i wanted to say dissolving of a situation the six of swords my loves is moving forward moving on you don't know where it will take you i'm hearing what is that movie what is that movie where it says you don't know where this will take you on inception my loves, you're moving timelines. You're moving timelines for sure. Because I'm hearing that part where uh, you don't know where this train will take you. You know what I mean? You don't know where you're going. You don't know where it's taking you. You just know you can't stay here. You just know you can't stay here. The two of cups, wherever that is. I just heard broken rainfall. Broken rainfall, what does that mean? My loves, if you have a passed away loved one, put their picture up, please. Look at this card. Someone has a picture of this person in their wallet. Or a, or a picture of this person in their vehicle, in their car, or something like that. There is something about a ballerina. What the heck? Oh. For some of you, it's a child also that wants to come visit. A child is telling someone that they want to come visit. So if you have uh, a situation where there were kids involved, they want to come visit. Don't get mad at me, loves, but a child is going through a spiritual death here because they've been separated from you for some reason or something like that or they've been pulled away from you or something like that there is something about a child undergoing some sort of uh, mental thing right now that's affecting like a spiritual death here because I'm hearing do they even miss me does Virgo even miss me I wonder if Virgo misses me. There's, it is like a childlike energy for sure too. Damn, there's so many situations here. I feel like somebody passed by for sure. I feel like somebody passed by to to like maybe stop and say hello or something or somebody wants to stop in and say hello. But they just can't. They can't bring themselves to do it. 
I'm getting that strongly underneath the deck, my loves. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a new beginning. It is new lessons to learn. It's a new battle. It's like fresh new and like it's it's new ideas, new motivation, a fresh chapter, a fresh book. For some of you, you need to like that you need to write or talk or something. There's something about communicating your story here. I'm also hearing like a fresh look for some of you. I'm also getting like someone wants to talk, but they're holding like they're unable to. Doesn't this person look like the swords are communication? Somebody wants to talk, but they're unable to. They don't have the words or they they're like literally like not supposed to talk to you or something. Yeah, look at this. The t the high priestess Scorpio energy. High priestess in reverse, upright, you're not supposed to talk. They never speak. But in reverse, this is like wanting to. Someone might be telepathically communicating with you. High priestess can sometimes mean spiritual beings. And when it's in reverse, they're appearing. This is definitely like a spirit too that wants to talk. My loves, let's do a mediumship live. Let's do that because someone wants to talk. Let's do that tomorrow. The Knight of Wands. Coming in quick. Coming in quick. Someone's passing by really, really quick really really fast so you don't see them the chariot in reverse yeah they don't stop but that is what i have for you my loves i hope that helps i hope that resonates i am sending you lots of love light peace clarity may peace always surround you i think my foot my light is about to go out so i'll leave it there Every day, it's a new day of sadness for this person. Jesus. Uh, let me know in the comments if this resonates, my loves. I love you so much. I will talk to you soon.